Good day everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to another episode of 10 p.m. University. So this week will be uh, different to the previous week. So we're not going to talk about health anymore. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about a new topic that's mathematics. Sounds exciting, right? So this week will be uh, completely about mathematics. So today we're going to start with the very basic mathematics. Uh, we're going to talk about the four pillars of arithmetic. That's addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, right? Everyone knows about it. And mathematics, as you know, that it's the universal language. It's used everywhere. It's used in your day-to-day -day life. It's used in your... Uh, uh, a space station, it's used in, in, in hospitals, it's used everywhere. I mean, every every single activity you do, even from buying a toilet paper during the lockdown, you need mathematics, right? You need to know how many toilet papers you need to buy, right? <laughs> and to, to know the number of days in a week, you need mathematics, right? And to know how much money you got in your accounts, you need mathematics, right? And how many candies you got, <clears throat> you need mathematics, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Um, uh, how many uh, pair of jeans you got, right? That's you need mathematics. Everything is number. You can't survive in this planet without number. Mathematics is extremely powerful. It has uh, penetrated in everyone's day-to-day -day life. You can't live a life without mathematics, right? Uh, you need to buy a computer, right? How many computers? One. There you go. That's a number. That's a part of mathematics. Uh, you want to buy an iPad, right? How many iPads? Two. There you go. You need mathematics, all right? So cool. What we're going to do, we're going to start with the very basic uh, arithmetic today, addition, subtraction, division, uh, multiplication, right? So this is very common, and I prefer that everyone should know this. I mean, you don't have to know advanced mathematics, right? Like, I've been a programmer for almost 15 years, and I'll be very honest with you, I haven't used any fancy mathematics uh, in my programming career. Uh, unless you are dealing with machine learning, that's a different t topic, right? We're going to talk about the machine level, uh, learning level mathematics uh, over the coming period of time. But for today, it's all about basic mathematics. If you know add, addition, if you know subtraction, if you know how to divide, if you don't have to multiply, you can become a programmer. It's that simple. Because we, you need to know how to do basic mathematics, basic calculation, right? Unless you go and work for an engineering firm or you work for a space station, that's a different story, right? For a general... Uh, normal stuff. You, these four stuff are pretty, uh, pretty sufficient, right? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about um, addition first, right? So we're gonna talk about addition. Uh, pardon my handwriting. Okay, right. Let me give a scenario. Once upon a time, right, there were two kids, and let's name it Hansel, right? Um, nah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very bad in drawing. Okay, and there's another name, Greta. Sorry, I'm, I'm putting the Scandinavian kid's name, so my apologies for that. I oh, see how pathetic I'm drawing. So Hansel was like a, a seven-year-old, and Greta probably seven-year-old as well. So Hansel got... Uh, <clears throat> so one day Hansel's dad said, Look, son, I'm going to give you uh, 10 euro, right? Okay, go and buy uh, some some candies for you, right? And uh, Greta parents gave her say five euro, right? So Greta uh, met Hansel, and Greta said to Hansel, "Look, my dad gave me five euro." Hansel said, "Really? I got ten euro." And Greta got very upset. Oh, that's not fair! Your dad gave me uh, <clears throat> gave you ten euro, and my dad only gave me five euro. So uh, Hansel said, "That's fine." I will give you five euro to you, right? Greta said, like, yeah, now, the question for you. So, Hansel got, <clears throat> had 10 euro, right? And Greta had five euro. Now, Greta got five euro extra, right? Five euro, and again, she got five euro from Hansel. Can you tell me, what's the total amount she got that's where the addition comes into picture so she got five and then she got five right then she got ten now Hansel's story is a bit different in Hansel's story <clears throat> we know how to use addition because Hansel lost the money right so that's where the subtraction comes into picture right Hansel lost the money he has to give away his money 
So what did Hansel do? He took the five bucks out of it, of, out of total for 10 euros. So left with only five. Sound exciting, right? You see the daily example where you can use a basic multiplication, uh, sorry, basic addition and subtraction? Right, now, what happens, right? Let me give you another example uh, of addition. Let me clean this off. Uh, okay, all right. I think so I can clean this off. All right, all right, that looks cleaner. So you see that even for starting from a very school age kid, you know, the addition plays a very important role as well as the multiplication. Sorry, as well as a, a um, subtraction. Multiplication and division do play an important role. Uh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about some pizzas when we talk about divisions, right? And we're going to talk about some games when we talk about multiplication, right? Right. Now, let's say um, you're a grown-up man, right? And uh, so let me clean this a bit more ni nicer. I managed to figure out how to um, clean this. So, <laughs> as I said, my apologies, I'm not a... Uh, an artist or draw, you know, drawing person. So I barely use this one except for, right? Okay, All right. Let me use this back again. Cool. All right. Now, let's say um, <clears throat> you are a grown-up person, right? And you got, uh, uh, let's say, thousand dollars in your account, thousand USD. Now, your grandparents, you know, decide to uh, give you, uh, as a part of, uh, you know, Christmas gift, a, a check of, say, 3750 right? Now, so you have $10,000 and you got uh, $10,000, uh, sorry, 3750 USD from your grandfather. Now, can you tell me? What's the total amount you all got right now once you uh, add these two numbers together? So that's pretty straightforward. So what are you going to do? Just put 10,000 here, right? Now start from the left. So you got uh, 3,750, right? You put zero here, you put five here, you put three here. Sorry, you put seven here and you put three here, right? And add a plus sign. All right, zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus five? Five, zero plus seven, seven, zero plus three, three, one plus nothing, it's one. So this is the total amount. Sounds interesting, right? Okay, now, for some reason, um, uh, let's, say, let's say the name of the uh, guy is uh, Paul, right? So, but the boy is Paul. And so Paul won uh, extra uh, 6,200. Uh, from a lotto, right? From a lottery, right? Whatever you call it in your country. So, so currently, um, so this is the total balance what Paul has, and then say Paul wants six thousand, let's say two hundred seventy bucks from a lotto, right? This is what Paul wants. Now, could you tell me what's the total amount Paul has at this moment of time, including the 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 amount the Paul won from a lotto, right? It's pretty straightforward. You put your biggest value at the top, right? And then start with the zero here. And then we do seven, and then do two, and then do six. And then you add, right? Zero plus zero, zero. Seven plus five, simple mathematics, 12. Okay, now I got two here. Now what are I gonna do with this one? Right, you put in the top of here. Right now, seven plus one, eight. Eight plus two, ten. Right, I'm gonna put zero here. Now I've got an extra one here. What are we gonna do with one? Put it here. Now, six plus one, seven. Seven plus three, ten. You're gonna take the zero here and put the one here. One plus one, two. There you go. This is the total amount. Sounds exciting, right? It's, his money is increasing day by day. He's he got a money from his grandfather. Then he won a lotto. He's gonna be he's he's for up for something, right? Paul's gonna go heights, right? <clears throat> cool, right? Cool, fantastic. Now, 
let's talk about a uh, recession now Paul invested his money in some stocks right but Paul managed to lose all right let me let me put the Paul total amount here at the top we're gonna delete it two zero zero two zero right this is USD okay and let me get rid of the other calculation right okay let me say now what happens is that Paul decides to Paul being a visor you know kid he decides to invest uh, say 7,000 uh, in a stock exchange right in the stock market so what did Paul do he took off 7,000 from his account and invested in the stock now could you tell me what's the remaining balance that's where the subtraction come into picture right so we're gonna do choose this again right close it right and it's gonna do subtraction okay sorry pardon my handwriting this <laughs> it sucks I know so 2020 so this is the total amount and Paul said okay I'm gonna okay sorry uh, Paul said, all right, I'm going to take off 7,000. Okay. Now, can you tell me what's the remaining amount in the account? It's pretty straightforward. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 0, 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now, here is the thing. So, now when it is 0, right? So, you can't do 0. So, he has to carry borrow one from here so it become 10 10 minus 7 it is 3 now we have taken one from this 2 so it will lose one from here so we get only one there you go so that's the amount we uh the Paul, Paul has an account sound exciting right so this is how you do subtraction though right cool now, Paul decides to join a, a group uh, of a, um, he, he got interest in painting, right? So he attended an art class and, and then the teacher decides to, you know, put them into a, a group of two, right? So you got a group of two, this is a group of two, right? And this is a group of two. So there were a total uh, 10 groups of two, right? So blah, blah. So it will go to uh, 10. So one, two, three, and 10, right? Now, can you tell me the number of kids involved in the total number of kids involved in the group? That's where the multiplication comes in the picture. See, you take, that's where the multiplication comes. multiplication right so you got two in a group uh, and total number of group is 10 so 2 times 10 that becomes 20 right cool that sounds great right now let me show you how to do a complex multiplication okay let me clear this one <clears throat> this in math is fun I mean you need to you know enjoy doing mathematics it's not hard as people say oh yeah maths is hard it's not fun it's it's just boring no it's not the case I mean you need to relate to the real life scenario right so uh, that's how and and trust me that you will use this kind of stuff everywhere right it's not restricted to uh, small kids right or or to teenagers or you know it's, it, even the older generation everyone uses mathematics right so I mean you don't need to have a, a PhD in mathematics to know this you can you know pretty much do the basic stuff right okay cool so what we're gonna do so we're gonna uh, do a very basic math here right okay so uh, come on so we're gonna do uh, 22 times 3 right so 2 times 3 6 2 times 3 6 pretty straightforward right okay 22 times 33 cool Right, so what are you going to do? You start with the first here, and you multiply with 
uh, but 22 first. Two, uh, two times three, six. Two times three, six, right? Now you start here. Three times two, six. Three times two, six, right? Cool. Now your addition comes in the picture. All right, you can put, um, you can put uh, zero here, so you can put zero, six plus zero, six, six plus six, twelve, two, and it goes one here, right? Now this is the 726, pretty straightforward, right? It's There's nothing complicated here, okay, let's do more complicated. So we have two, 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 three, three, three. How do you do multiplication of it? Okay. First start with this one, three times two, six, Three, two times three, six. Times three, six. Okay, now start with this one. Because since you start from the second position, you need to start from second. So it's gonna six, you're gonna six, you're gonna six. You start from the third position, six, six, six. Right? Okay. Now it's gonna six. So you're gonna have to add this one as usual. Right? Six plus six. You can, if you want, you can add zeros as well, just for completeness, right? You know, it looks nice. So 6 plus 6 is 12, right? And it goes here, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 6 18, right? 18 plus 6 is going to be, uh, sorry, eight, not 18 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. goes here, 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1 uh, is 13. So you're going to come here. So it's going to so become 7, 3. That's 73926. It's fantastic, right? That's how you do uh, complex uh, multiplication. Pretty straightforward. You can add, you can do even three, you can do four. So, right, just practice it. If you're someone who's not comfortable with multiplication, practice as much as you can, right? It's pretty straightforward. There's nothing fancy about it, right? Okay, so let me get rid of this one. Now, we're going to talk about division, right? So think about a scenario. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a division problem here. Very basic. Then we're going to do a bit complex. Right. Um, right. Let me clean this. Oh, it's, it's a bit dirty, but that's fine. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Right. Now, what happens? Division. Let's say you got a pie. Sorry, you got a pizza. Let's get pizza example, right? And let me break into one. So this is four pieces and, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's uh, put a cheese in between, right? Or, or let's uh, put a pepperoni in between. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Okay, so now you got a, a six slice of pizza, right? And now, uh, you got a, uh, you got two people, right? Two people, you know, you and your mate, right? Now, you got six slices of pizza and you got two people. Can you tell me how m a number of slices each one will get, right, to eat? It's pretty straightforward. That's where division comes in the picture. So take the six here and divide by two. So that's pretty much right. It's going to be three. That's how the division comes in the picture. See, real life example, right? Okay, you got two pints of beer, or two, okay, uh, sorry, no beer, because since we're talking about kids as well, two pints of, uh, say, uh, fresh juice, right? 12 bottles of fresh juice, so, okay, 12, 12 bottles of fresh juice, right? And he got a six kids, right? Now, can you tell me uh, how many bottles each kid will get if there is a 12 bottles? Right, and their to total number of kids are six, and there is a twelve bottles of fresh juice. How many bottles each kid will receive? It's pretty straightforward. Twelve divided by six, it's gonna be two. Right, that's why division comes into picture. This is a very very basic problem, right? A real life problem, real life, uh, starting from a kid, from an adult. You know, if you are growing up at all, you know, they go to you know for a drink. You know, you buy them 10 drinks, you buy them 10 drinks, you know, you divide the money and you kind of, that's where division comes in the picture as well, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do division bit formally now. So we're gonna take this off and I just wanted to make sure that I, I give you a real life example so that you can relate and not to think, ah, I don't want it to 
do division because blah, division is boring. When I was in school, uh, it's so boring. I hate maths. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, when I was a kid, I, I didn't like mathematics at all. But as I, you know, when I uh, became teenagers, I started like maths. So I started doing complex um, integration, differentiation. Uh, differentiation was my favorite. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to go to do engineering, because I love mathematics very much. Even now, I love mathematics. That's one of the reasons why I like to do machine learning at times, right? So if you haven't watched my machine learning, you've, I would encourage you to check that out, because I covered yesterday about a gradient descent, right? Yeah, math got a bit messier, but uh, I'll try to do my best next time to make it more tidier, you know, to... Okay, cool. Enough talking. All right, so what we're going to do, let's divide a very basic thing, 22 divided by 2, right? So how do you divide it? It's pretty straightforward. In a very old-fashioned way, just put the 2, 2 here, and 2, right? Okay, now, start from here. Can you, uh, what, what do you multiply with 2 to get this value, right? Or the closest to it. So 2 times 1 will become 2, right? Okay. Now it's become zero because you subtract here become zero and now you bring this down this boy so you got two uh, so you got two here right now what do you multiply with two to get the value of two so as usual it's one right now you got two here right and you subtract here right minus two minus two zero so there you are so the answer is 11 okay let's do more complex Let's say I got 2, 2, 2, right? Long division. All right, start with here. As usual, what do you m multiply with 2 to get 2? It's 1, right? Cool. Right, 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, now we need to bring this boy here down. Cool. Right, can you multiply 2 with 2? Okay, is this number, first of all, you need to check whether is this number greater than this? If not, if this number is smaller than this, you need to bring this third one down as well, right? Right now, this number is equal to two, so that's fine. So what number you multiply with two to get the value of two? Obviously one, okay? So you got it here, right? Now you got zero here, two minus two, zero, right? Now bring this boy down here, <laughs> okay? Now, what you value you will multiply with two to to get the result two, obviously one, right? So you got two here, and becomes zero, right? So the answer is 11. This is one of the example of the long division, right? Cool. Let's do one more. So you have two, four, um, right? Six, eight. You can do with double digits as well, two, two. So I just wanted to make it simple. So that's why I'm covering the simple one. Let's divide this with two again, right? Okay, now you tell me how it works. The first thing, you're gonna focus on this. Is this number greater than two? No. Is this number equal to two? Yes. Okay, so what do you multiply with two to get two? Obviously one, right? Okay, so you're gonna write two here. Bring it here. Is this number zero greater than two? No. Is it equal to 2? No. Is it less than 2? Yes. So what do you have to do? You have to bring this 4 down. Okay. Is 4 greater than 2? Absolutely yes. So what you need to multiply with 2 to become 4? Obviously 2, right? 2 times 2, 4. Okay. Right, 0. Is it 0 bigger than 2? No. Is it 0 less than 2? Yes. So can you do division? No. So what do you have to do? You have to bring the 6 down. Right. Is 6 bigger than 2? Yes. And so what's the number you can multiply to get the result 6 in terms of 2? 2 times 3, right? 6. Okay. Now, is the 0 bigger than 2? No. Is the 0 less than 2? Yes. So what do you have to do? Bring 8 here again, right? Is 8 bigger than 2? Yes. Can you multiply something with 2 to get 8? Yes, 4. And 8. Now, reminder is 0. Now, is 0 bigger than 2? No. So, can you bring something down? No, nothing. So, stop there. 
that's how the division happens. Pretty straightforward, very easy way to do it. So you can do a pretty long division. You can do with um, in 22, you can do with 55. So you need to know your multiplication table well, at least till 10. It will be good to know, right? If you are someone who's in high school, you know, you should know at least till 10. I mean, I would, I mean, even I, when I was 16, I, I could uh, remember till 20th, you know. But it doesn't matter. I mean, if you can do till 10, if you remember till 10, the multiplication table, that's good enough. You can figure out rest, right? So this is how you work out. And just to, and, and to make sure that if the answer is correct, you can do the other way around, say. One, two, three, four. You can multiply it, right? To see whether you get this right answer or not. Just to double check. Four times two, eight. Three times two, six. Two times two, four. One times two, two. Two, four, six, eight. Absolutely. So the answer is correct, right? This is how you do basic mathematics. See, mathematics is very easy. It's very exciting. It's fun. If you think that, oh, it's too hard, numbers are, it's not hard, right? Everything in this world deals with the number, the amounts of money you make, the taxes you pay, you know, the uh, the grocery bills you, you know, spend money on, right? And the amount of money you invest on your holidays, you know, or stocks or extend, oh, sorry, stocks and uh, shares and bonds or um, uh, real estate, wherever, you know, the money you pay for rent and, and money you pay for mortgage, you know, the money you spend on your coffee, Everything is numbers, right? You need to know at least the basic arithmetic operation, right? Otherwise, you will find it very difficult. Think about a day when the calculators and computers got shut down completely. Imagine there's no calculator. I know it won't happen, but just imagine a situation where everything gets shut down, where there's no computers, there's no calculators. You have to do everything. Imagine you are in the middle of a supermarket. Let's say you are a cashier, right? You are uh, in a checkout counter, right? Your system crashed, completely crashed. And you got no calculator, you got no computers, you got no phone, you got pretty much nothing. Now, when a customer comes to you, would you be comfortable saying, look, I can't add. I don't know how to give you a change because I don't know how to, how to subtract. That's embarrassing, right? So it's important to know this basic stuff because this is a universal language. I don't know uh, if there is an extraterrestrial race out there. If they probably would be using mathematics as well, there there should be some some measurement, right? To you know to travel intergalactic, intergalactic, right? So yeah, so I mean, this is a basic mathematics. I mean, you should feel proud that we are a civilization which get got exposed to mathematics. Mathematics is fun. It's in mathematics is everywhere. It's in music. It's in medicine. It's in poetry. It's in uh, um, it's in food, it's in it's in your beer you drink, it's in the candies you buy, it's in the pizzas you eat, it's in the clothes you wear, it's in the Gucci Armani drink. You know, you you need to know your measurement, right? If you go to tailor, you obviously have to take measurement. That's no maths. Maths is beautiful. You know, it's not bad. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's I'm not saying it's like a Mozart, but I'm saying it is fun. Right. So that being said, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you had some fun. I mean, I had fun teaching you guys. So, um, so next time we're going to talk about a bit complex stuff. We're going to talk about matrices because uh, I'm going to jump into linear algebra, differential equation because I, I'm, I'm because I'm covering uh, machine learning in another uh, course using Salesforce Einstein. Um, so I would like to cover a mathematics aspect of that in Tenpim University because I don't get time to cover mathematics there, right? At least I want to cover differential equation matrices and matrix and, uh, you know, different kind of matrix addition, subtraction, uh, you know, inversing and kind of stuff, right? And we're going to talk about integration as well when we get some time. I'm not going to talk about geometry. Um, well, probably if we see if we get some time, we're going to talk about geometry or trigonometry. So I'm, we'll see, right? But so the, the, today I wanted to talk about the basic maths. I hope you guys liked it. So, right. So if you uh, like my channel, please subscribe. Um, and I have an Instagram as well. So um, I'll put the link below if you're interested. You can follow me there, right? And um, so that's why I said that I started this 10 p.m. university. So you know, so that I can give you education throughout the life. Even if even if I die, the still the, the foundation continues. You know, to educate the future generation. That's exactly my mission is all about. You know, to give free education to everyone on the planet. Cool. All right. That's being said. Adios and greetings from New Zealand. Bye bye.